Hey, what's going on? Corey here from Foster Drop Productions, and today we're going to talk about three things you should probably keep in mind the next time you plan on shooting your short film. I don't know why I did that finger thing, I don't know. A lot of famous directors today actually started doing short films, which they later turned into full-length features. There's Martin Scorsese, Steven Spielberg, James Wan, Jared Hess, and David Sandberg, just to name a few. We here at Fossa Drop actually hope to follow in those same footsteps. We're actually releasing a couple films this year that we plan on making into full-length features. And as you probably know, if you've been following our channel, you know that we release short shorts uh, once every month it's always the last Thursday depending on how many weeks are in a month sometimes it's four sometimes it's five the fourth Thursday of every month our last major short film that we produced was called Sally Scissors you can find that down in the link below here no it's, it's right down but it's right down below you can find it in the description below we received a ton of feedback on Sally Scissors one of the biggest things that we received feedback on was the time limit. Sally Scissors is right around the 18 minute mark. What we've learned is that festival wise they're really looking for that 10 to 15 minute mark. 10 being ideal but 15 being that limit you don't really want to go over. The reason why is because they have to be able to fit you into their schedule. But let's face it, the attention span of the audience doesn't really go beyond 10 minutes. People know that there's 20, 30 films on the schedule. They probably aren't gonna wanna spend an hour on your film when they don't know who you are and you haven't established a name for yourself in the industry as of yet, which is why you're probably hitting up local film festivals to do that. I've even heard of full-length features that are played at the film festivals and it might be an hour and 20 minutes, but there might be one short film that's seven minutes. They can easily fit that seven minute short film right in that little slot before it rolls over to the next 30 minute block. That does multiple things. That keeps their schedule looking full, makes them look really good, but also gives you a chance to be shown. Some people might not even be able to get onto the list. Not because your film is necessarily bad or not up to par, but just time-wise, they don't have anywhere to put you. Some exposure is better than no exposure. That is the number one thing to take from that. As far as content goes, backstory can take a hike, especially in a genre like action films. You kind of just want to jump into the action. You want to start out strong, let people know what they're in for. They don't really have a lot of time to worry about all the little elements that made him the way he is. You need to be able to tell that through visuals. It's the old filmmaker saying of show, don't tell. So you want to be able to tell backstory through things like clothing, maybe hair, maybe makeup, props, location. If you have an action scene where there's a lot of punching and kicking going on, maybe this person who gets punched has been through the ringer a couple times, they're not going to hold their face and fall to the ground crying. They're just going to take it and look at you like, is that it? It makes them look tough without having a dialogue of someone saying, wow, that man is tough. Basically, keep the story real short, real sweet, and to the point. One great way of doing that is if you do have a feature film in mind, you can film just one scene that maybe you feel best describes the situation, the story, or gives that same emotion that you want the longer full feature to have. And again, looking back at some of the more famous directors that we're kind of pattering ourselves after, you have guys like James Wan from the Saw franchise. He actually filmed a short film called Saw in 2003 that was basically ended up being the opening for Saul the movie in 2004. It really conveyed the, the emotion, the grittiness, kind of that, that heavy green look that everyone knows Saul for. And then you have David Sandberg from Lights Out. The light goes out, you see this ghostly figure in front of you, you turn the light on and it's gone. Um, that was a great short film, won a ton of awards. Next thing you know, he's flying to Hollywood. He makes Lights Out the movie. It's really great. I suggest you check it out. Lights Out, David Sandberg. And last but not least, one of my actual personal favorites is Jared Hess. Along with his brother, John Hess, they're kind of John and Jared Hess. I don't know who directs what. You may know from their previous work of things like Nacho Libre and of course, Napoleon Dynamite. I think the thing that put them on the map. A lot of people don't know that Napoleon Dynamite is a full length feature based on a short that they did called Palooka. Palooka actually starred John Heater, who played Napoleon Dynamite later on. If you see Palooka after you've seen Napoleon Dynamite, you can see where they made the compromises. Napoleon Dynamite kind of took more of a two to three day span 
whereas Palooka itself was just a couple of hours in that afternoon. So yeah, those are three things that we've learned through trial and error, through submitting short films into film festivals and trying to expand our brand and listening to criticism. Criticism is not a bad thing. That's how you grow. So tell us what you guys think. Is there something that you know that could possibly be helpful to other filmmakers, possibly helpful to us? Please message us down below in the comments. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, like, share, subscribe, notification bell. Remember, every single Thursday, right here on Fossa Drop Productions on YouTube, we release all new episodes of something. So every week is a little something different. Check out our videos, check out our playlist. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to stick around for the end card. There'll be a couple of videos you can click on as well as a subscribe button.